Good morning, everybody. It's Ramona, your Independent Sensi Consultant. Today, we're going to talk about the Mardi Gras collection. And as a consultant, I had early access. Everybody else, you will get access on January 1. So I have melted them. I have some uh, thoughts and scent notes to talk about. And we will get started right now. So the first one we're going to talk about is Confetti Showers. Sparkling citrus whirls around black currant with a hint of peach. So I really enjoy this. I did get it, give it an 8 out of 10 for scent appeal. I definitely got uh, the citrus, but even more, I got peach. And I love peach scent, so it was all I was all about it. I didn't really get any black currant on warm. On cold, I kind of did get something a, a little tartness from what I assumed was a black curd, but mainly I get citrus and peach. So if you like peach scents especially, I think you're going to like it. Again, I gave it an 8 out of 10 for scent appeal, and I gave it an 8 out of 10 for throw because the peach really stood out. It was very present, and I really did um, not have any problems smelling it. The next one is Cream de Mint which is a sprig of garden mint, mixes it up with sweet peppermint and spun sugar. Now, if you are like me and you like minty scents, I definitely think you're going to like this one. I, I definitely got the peppermint for sure. Top, top note for me was peppermint, but on cold I got it and on warm as well. I did get kind of like a greenery, um, foliage, not really foliage, but, you know, leaves, greenery, that kind of note with it. And I really, really enjoyed it. Sponge sugar, not really. I mean, peppermint is kind of an overpowering scent and that's fine if you like peppermint. Um, so scent appeal for me on this one was eight. However, throw was pretty, it was a light medium. I gave it six out of eight. If I really stopped what I was doing and concentrated on, am I smelling it? Yes, okay, I do smell it, which is surprising because as I just said in the last breath, peppermint usually is a very overpowering scent and on cold it is, but funny when I warm it, the whole thing was turned out kind of light. I gave it a six out of 10 for throw. The next one is Midnight Masquerade, and this is sugared beignets and smoky vanilla dance behind delicate masks of Midnight Lily. Now, I thought I was going to like this um, on cold. I did get kind of a smoky vanilla, kind of a... Um, mm, uh, no, I, I, I'm trying to think of the word. I'm, I don't know why I lose my words lately. Last week I forgot the word tree trunk, tree trunk. Anyway, um, I, anyway, I gave this a four for scent appeal. On warm, it turned into what I call dirty amber or dark amber, really kind of really heavy, dark, musky amber scent. And so I missed, I didn't get any sugar beignets whatsoever, no bakery note, no vanilla. So I think, the smokiness and whatever that midnight lily is, to my nose, I think that turned into a dark musky amber, so I did not care for this one. However, the throw was eight out of 10, which isn't it always when you don't care for something. Uh, Street Parade is next. A jamboree of blood orange and juicy plum tossed bright golden pineapple beads in celebration. This was okay. I gave it a, cent, a six for scent appeal. Um, I got more pineapple than anything. Yeah. And uh, it's like a candy pineapple, nerds or toffee, you know, that kind of pineapple, like an artificial pineapple, which I don't really care for. If it's a really good authentic pineapple, that's fine. But I don't, I didn't care for this particular um oil, pineapple oil that they have in here. I did give it a six, so it was okay. I didn't despise it, but I didn't love it either. So six out of 10. And seven was a perfectly fine medium. I mean, sorry, throw was a perfectly fine medium. Uh, seven to eight, I gave it for throw. And finally, we have king cake. And this is a sweet crust of cinnamon and brown sugar coated with silky notes of golden butter. Now, I'm a bakery fan. I really liked it. Um, I like almond croissant. 
they are very, very similar. They definitely have that heavy buttery note, um, which Jason does not care for. He was not home when I melted it. I melted it all day while he was at work. Um, so it's, as I said, very similar to Alma Croissant. If you like Alma Croissant, you're definitely going to like this one as well. A little bit of cinnamon, not a lot, but it is present. It was not overpowering. So I gave it an eight out of 10 for scent appeal. And I also gave it an eight out of 10 for throw. It was very present. I could smell it, you know, all over. And I was really, really happy with it. So those are my thoughts on the Mardi Gras collection. And again, they will be releasing on January 1. So uh, stay tuned for that. And um, then I will be starting to do the Bring Back My Bar collection. I am a little bit behind with, you know, Christmas parties and shopping and this, that, and the other thing. So I will be getting to that this week. So I hope everybody has a fantastic day and I'll see you soon. Bye.